please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my Royal Life News channel, for today exciting news is the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge interrupted all of the UK's radio stations on Friday morning to share an important message in honour of Mental Health Awareness Week. William and Kate apologised for the interruption as they took to the airwaves of more than 500 stations and called on the nation to lift someone out of loneliness. In the 60-second broadcast for this year's Mental Health Minute, the couple started by introducing themselves before William said, We can all feel lonely sometimes, we can feel it for many different reasons. But we can all help each other feel less isolated and more connected, Kate continued. If you think someone you know might be feeling lonely, just give them a ring, send them a text or knock on the door, the Duchess suggested. Maybe suggest meeting for a coffee or a walk, William added. Because these small acts of kindness can make a big difference and help us all feel less lonely, Kate said. The future king then concluded, so, apologies for interrupting every radio station in the country. But, if we interrupt the lives of those who are feeling alone, Kate said, as William added, we can help lift them out of loneliness. The royals called on the nation to lift someone out of loneliness. The royal couple have long campaigned on mental health issues and have featured in the Mental Health Minute broadcast before. But this year, for the first time, they were the sole speakers. The theme of this year's Mental Health Awareness Week is loneliness, which is affecting more and more people in the UK, and has had a huge impact on the nation's physical and mental well-being during the pandemic. New research coinciding with the message showed that more than 1 in 10 young people feel lonely often or always, making them the loneliest of all age groups, according to Community Life Survey data. Earlier this week, William and Kate travelled to Scotland where they visited the University of Glasgow and spoke to students about their mental health and well-being during the pandemic, including those whose studies include mental health research and who are members of the University's Society for Mental Health. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.